hear me, but we are getting, I am getting close to Birdsong Road, my favorite road for so many reasons. Um, teaching fire tactics this weekend. It's going to be a great time. So this is the reason why I did a pre-sale of my knives. Uh, so I will have them most likely. They're probably at my house today or they will be tomorrow. Uh, or at least by month. If you've already put your orders in, of course I greatly appreciate you. However, I do not believe I will be able to start shipping until Tuesday, uh, which is why I did a pre-sale. However, once we get caught up, once I get caught up with the shipping of the pre-sale, then sales should be handled fairly quickly. I can't thank you guys enough. The sale just went amazing. Um, it was huge. You guys are the best. Thanks, Zach. Uh, stock is still strong on Bovis knives. That's a parkerized Cerakote finish with natural micarta scales. Park is still strong for that. Hivis? I didn't order as many. I only ordered like 22 Hivis knives, and I'm pretty sure they are all gone. Man, I wish I had the new knives for this class to show off or to even sell, but whatever. Anyways, let's see. So, I figured this is a good time to start talking about 2023 and classes. Uh, I was just talking to my buddy Zach on the phone about how I want to do classes and I'm not opposed to doing shooting classes or uh, different survival classes, this, that, and the other. However, I have a tendency to choose what I do or don't do based on passion as opposed to marketability. So there's a lot of classes that I think are really, really important for civilians to take that are not available on the market. Uh, and the reason that they're not available on the market is because nobody cares about them. So they don't make money. And what classes make money should be how you choose what, you, what, what you're gonna teach or what you're going to learn. But uh, that's not how I roll. Uh, there's a hole in the market. Maybe the hole's there because it's hard to sell, but it's an important, it's a, they're, they're important tactics that need to be taught. So I do expect to be traveling the country for 23, doing fire tactics classes, and you will learn how to do fires in austere environments with a rifle on your back while focusing on other potentially more important things at the same time. Nobody else is doing that that I know of. Um, but also, I'd like to get Justin Vitito, get him out and start doing some camouflage and movement focused classes. How fast you can shoot and reload on a square range isn't all that important if you don't know how to move around and you just get you and all your friends shot because uh, your fast shooty boy skills were not enough uh, to save your life or your team's life once you got unnecessarily spotted in the woods, whatever. Um, anyways, I've been slow responding to comments, emails, messages. I've gotten really bogged down with my holiday workload, both with slings, now also with uh, knives. I've got a lot of YouTube videos that I need to get up. So. I'm sorry to say it, but you guys can expect, uh, you know, YouTube comments, emails, stuff like that to take longer to reply to or to be missed altogether. And I do apologize for that. It's the nature of the beast. I'm a one-man show. One-man shop. One-man shop. Anyways, so this weekend, I'll probably be 100% off of that. We'll see. But I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know how much I'll be able to share with you guys after this class. Uh, if it goes anything like classes I've helped with or taught in the past, I don't eat well, I don't drink well, I don't sleep well. Uh, I just get too focused in on all of the things that I want to teach and helping people with all of their problems, expected or unexpected, that they run into, making sure everybody gets the most out of class. By the time class is over, I realize that I'm about dead. That's just how 
so I don't know how much filming I'll do. I'd like to get a lot done. I'd like to talk about my gear. I'd like to talk about my kit. I'd like to talk about my choices, my experiences. I want to get B-roll footage for advertising this class in the future. We're just going to have to see, guys. Really, if I were to get the content quality that I wanted, I'd need to pay someone to come and be a camera guy. That's not always realistic for me. Nate, if you're watching, hit me up and let me know how much you charge. So, all right, uh, if I don't talk to y'all until Monday or Tuesday, I apologize. I hope y'all have a good weekend in the class. I look forward to seeing you there. Have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.